Hi, I'm John from Dempsey Illustrations, and on today's video, we're going to be doing another viewer suggested video. So, this one's a fan fiction by Lou. I think I pronounced that right. If not, I do apologise. And I'll give a bit of a backdrop during the illustration, but basically, they've tweaked the Ben 10 storyline to be sort of like X10. It's a slightly kind of like different tangent to the original storyline and I thought the characters were quite cool and the initial concept was quite cool so I'll turn it into an illustration anyway if you want to see more Ben 10 stuff or you want to see more fewer subscribe videos smash that like button so I know and yeah let's get started so first up we have Diamond Head. I quite like the outfit design on here. There's a small tweak to turn the white bits in the design black later on, which I did sort of like after finishing the video process. So a bit of post tidy up and polishing up. But all in all, I quite like the pose from the original design and kept true to it and made the mace a little bit bigger and added my own style to bring it to life. So hope you guys enjoy Diamond Head. So, I guess a bit of background information about this. Basically, the fan fiction of X10 is about a world where Ben didn't have his secret identity revealed and only some things are sort of like from Ultimate Alien and some things from the Omniverse. Um, but basically, Ben gets master control of the Omnitrix earlier when he's 17 since as some of source that he was more responsible than he was before and he also gave him a new Omnitrix which is a bit a bit similar to the rebranded Omnitrix from Alien Force um, which he liked better um, than the last one. He even told Azimuth one time that I prefer turning a dial but then pressing a faceplate and then a few months after he turned 18 he was sent away from Earth on a scout mission but it was just a distraction and he was called that his house was basically blown up um, and was in flames and his parents were inside. Unfortunately, the parents didn't make it and there's no explanation of how or why it happened. Ben was furious. He tried to find out who was responsible, but none of his, his regular villains, not even the Vilgax, um, knew anything or actually did blow up his house so after that the trail ran cold and after the funeral Ben stopped using the Omnitrix for a while since all it did was remind him of the horrible day um, but this time he didn't get removed he kept it but he wouldn't use it and then when he turned 19 he had to use the Omnitrix to save somebody knowing that his parents wouldn't have wanted him stopping Hero because of them passing away. So he worked on a costume and began calling himself X and is accompanied by a team of new heroes as Ben makes his way to becoming the Heroes of Heroes. Which I quite like the dark, slightly dark twist on this and the vigilante theme. Um, hence why his outfit's a bit like a Green Arrows vigilante outfit but with a massive green X on it and his Omni Chooks is quite a cool watch design. And yeah, he's got Diamond Head next to him on one part of this and Shock Rock on the other. Um, I do like the concept designs. They're not quite the same as the original Alien designs. They've got a bit of personality, which is quite nice. And yeah, it was quite fun to do. Another request on this for the suggested was to have the X10 in the similar format to the original Ben 10 logo, which you'll see me put in later. Um, all in all, I think this came out really well, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it.
So, a bit of cheeky self-promotion. If you're liking this video or you want to see more Ben 10 stuff, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to stay up to date with videos as they come out. Every subscribe and every like helps the channel grow and it's really appreciated. Anyway, let's get back to the illustration. And finally, we have Ben Tennyson, or as he likes to go by the name in this fan fiction, X. So he's got a green arrow style suit, although it's majority of it is black. Um, and he has a massive green X on the front. I mean, I quite like this because it's quite bold. On one argument, he's painting a target for himself. On the other one, it's a nice Omnitrix style green X, which looks quite cool and some green um, kind of like stripes down the legs a little bit. Uh, I kind of wanted him in a bit of a pose where he's showing the Omnitrix off. Uh, the original concept art for this shows white, but it was discussed and we changed it to black um, a bit later on. And the mask should originally be black, uh, but because I wanted to darken his face out to keep his identity a bit more uh, secretive, because as we said in the fan fiction brief earlier, in this world, his identity hasn't been revealed yet. So I want to keep it a secret. So I changed the mask to be green, a bit of a designer's choice there. Um, but if I did put the face in, I would have kept it true to the original black because the contrast would have been quite nice. And yeah, I hope you enjoy how Ben Tennyson looks. I think it's a rather cool design and I hope you enjoy how this piece comes out. Well, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the process of bringing in the fan fiction X10 storyline to life in this illustration. I had a lot of fun redrawing Lou's original character designs for this, you know, his concept. So on that note, I've decided I'm going to do a community redraw and I'll be doing that starting next month, but you've got to subscribe to the channel and you've got to send your submissions in with maybe a bit of background information that I can read out with them to dempseyjillustrations13 at gmail.com. I'll put the, the, script, the email sort of address to send it to and a summary of what to send in the description. But basically, I want you to come up with your own superhero persona. It can be from any genre, any series you like, but your personal character and your personal thoughts. So send your submissions in and hopefully they'll show in the next video, but I'll definitely show a lot of the submissions artwork in the video if I don't get a chance to redraw them. Anyway, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to stay up to date with new videos as they come out. Remember, stay safe and I'll see you next time.